Hello and welcome to another edition of Out of the Blue. I'm Mike Browning. During the 2011-2012 academic year, the MTSU community is celebrating the pride, tradition, and excellence of Middle Tennessee State University. It all began in 1911. It's amazing how far we've come from the beginnings as a normal school to the expansive growth that visually demonstrates this university. Its academics, its facilities, and its human capital are all soaring to new heights. We'll focus on MTSU's history as well as what's happening today in our special cover story later in the show. But first, let's look at how we've been celebrating the centennial beginning with the Blue Tie Centennial Gala. More than a thousand alumni, faculty, staff and administrators gathered at Embassy Suites in Murfreesboro for a special night to celebrate and remember. Okay, well, One of my fondest memories, I met my wife at Middle Tennessee. So, uh, that, you know, especially since I have on camera with me, that had to be my fondness. I was a member of the Greek community, and uh, there were so many good uh, friendships that we, the lifelong friendships that were made through that. One of my fondest memories was coming to the campus and seeing the diversity. I guess it would probably be graduation. Uh, I had gone through an officer candidate program uh, with the United States Marine Corps, and on graduation day, uh, Hannah pinned my bars on my white uniform. We actually met in an honors fraternity, Phi Sigma Pi, um, that's still actually very active and that we're still a part of to this day. Yeah. By the way, it was September 11, 1911 that MTSU officially opened its doors as the state normal school for the Middle Division of Tennessee. Old Main was one of the four original buildings completed for the school's grand opening. In other news, thousands of MTSU students are making a new commitment to reject violence. It's called the True Blue Pledge. I am True Blue. As a member of this diverse community, I am a valuable contributor to its progress and success. I am engaged in the life of this community. I am a recipient and a giver. I am a listener and a speaker. I am honest in word and deed. I am committed to reason, not violence. I am a learner. Now and forever. I am a Blue Raider. I am a Blue Raider. I'm a Blue Raider. True Blue. Students made their stand during the convocation where they heard from the author of Listening is an Act of Love, Dave Isay. Do you have any regrets, Grandpa? No. Well, no, we lived a wonderful life. Most people think of it as if I had 40 minutes left to speak to my grandfather, what would I want to know? I want you to do the same thing. Live with courage. Students also took an important stand against violence by reciting the university's first ever True Blue Pledge. The pledge is an affirmation of MTSU's core values of honesty, integrity, respect for diversity, and engagement in the community. You never know what tomorrow may bring, so tell the people who matter to you that you love them today. Good luck, God bless, and go get them. Congratulations, freshmen. President McPhee also made news when he addressed MTSU's faculty during the State of the University Address. So this year, I say these are exciting and historic times for our university. Not only because it is our 100th birthday, but also because we're entering our second century with strong momentum, great promise, and enormous potential. The College of Education building is the newest addition to the university's attractive array of modern facilities. It was recently dedicated during a special ribbon cutting ceremony. And today we begin the second 100 years much as we started with a brand new building dedicated to the preparation of educators. It gives me great pride to see this building open. Since MTSU is one of the state's top producers of future educators, I know it will be filled with learning, innovation, and inspiration. The three-floor, $30 million state-of-the-art facility has 87,000 square feet with collaborative classrooms and a 150-seat auditorium. 
MTSU also recently entertained a number of distinguished guests on campus. 15-term Congressman Jim Leach, well, now chairman of the National Endowment for the Humanities, the delivered a lecture on the Constitution and civility. And the Sigenthalers, John and John Sigenthaler Jr., visited the campus to discuss living the First Amendment. Both have enjoyed impressive careers in print and broadcast journalism. And MTSU is now participating in a unique partnership with the U.S. Army to conduct research and provide education on unmanned vehicle systems. Unmanned systems have been a critical part of America's war in Afghanistan, but the technology also has promising commercial opportunities. The one-of-a-kind agreement with the U.S. Army was signed in Washington, D.C. This handshake in the nation's capital signifies more than a symbolic gesture forging a partnership between MTSU and the U.S. Army. It's an historic first-of-its-kind exchange on unmanned aircraft systems in the U.S. This agreement is another series of bold steps that we've taken to provide the very best facilities, training and service in this important area. MTSU President Sidney McPhee and Colonel Timothy Baxter, the Army's project manager for unmanned aircraft systems, inked the memorandum in a formal signing agreement. I think we all recognize that UAS has broader applications in the future. So uh, this type of partnership can only strengthen and benefit our country in the future. The Army has flown over 1.3 million unmanned hours in what the Department of Defense calls the most disruptive technological change on the battlefield since the helicopter. These systems save lives on the battlefield every day. I see it. These folks around this room see it. And, uh, and uh, I think you're going to see it too on the commercial side just as you see it uh, today. So The commercial opportunities for unmanned aerial systems for search and rescue, spotting forest fires and surveying agricultural land places MTSU on the leading edge of education and research in collaboration with the U.S. Army. My number one priority was said we need to have a relationship uh, with the program office. Uh, not only is it two hours away, but if there's anybody that is innovative and leading the charge on where the future of UAS is going, uh, it's these guys. As director of MTSU's unmanned aircraft systems operations, Kyle Snyder will help oversee Ravens like these, donated by the Army, to help MTSU develop the hands-on curriculum for the innovative technology. We started in 1911 with a clear mission to train Tennessee's best teachers. For the last 100 years, Middle Tennessee State University has carried out that mission and so much more. Nationally recognized as an affordable quality university, the number one choice of undergraduates in Tennessee. As we celebrate our centennial, we look with pride at the past. We look forward to the future. Check out why we're Tennessee's best. Desde Middle Tennessee State University. Hola, hay diferentes tipos de ayuda financiera que puedes solicitar para pagar gastos universitarios. Puedes solicitar ayuda financiera a través del gobierno, de las universidades y de las instituciones privadas. Ayuda financiera es disponible para aquellos estudiantes, ciudadanos y residentes quienes califican. Para solicitar ayuda financiera del gobierno, tienes que completar la aplicación FAFSA. Muchas universidades ofrecen becas basadas en tu promedio y en tu calificación del ACT. Las becas son premios financieros que se regalan a los estudiantes. La, también para solicitar ayuda financiera puedes solicitar un préstamo que tendrás que pagar al terminar tus estudios. Y recuerda, no importa en qué situación te encuentres, tú podrás recibir ayuda financiera a través de instituciones privadas. Financiado por Title I of the Carl D. Perkins Career and Technical Education Act of 2006. What will MTSU do for the next hundred years? Only time and dreams will tell. But if it has any resemblance to the first 100, all those associated with MTSU can look to the future with great pride. In this special cover story, let's take a look back at our century-long tradition of excellence. 
Right now, we invite you to take a quick look with us at some of the changes the years have brought. The normal school was quite small when we started, just 247 students and 18 faculty members. As the needs of our state and students changed, our mission expanded. Improving teaching and learning is the bedrock of programs all across this campus. When I sort of got to MTSU, it was more of a, a southern university. Then you had people coming from other areas, from New York, from Chicago, from schools on the West Coast, etc., coming in, and I think that mixture helped uh, spread the identity. Although we started with only four buildings, today we're approaching 140, being sure that students have good places to study, learn, exercise, reflect, compete, and live means that the campus is never static. Athletics have been part of the MTSU tradition since normal school days. In 1913, a committee of faculty and students chose blue and white as the school colors. You have this sense of pride and just sense of greatness when you, when you have that MTSU across your chest when you're playing because you know it stands for something because we remain committed to the value of the individual, experiential learning, and to offering each student opportunities to succeed. In doing so, MTSU will continue as a vibrant hub for research and entrepreneurship, a seedbed for civic participation and global citizenship, and an engine of cultural and economic development. We look forward with anticipation to meeting the challenges of the future as we establish our traditions of excellence for the next 100 years. Beginning as a normal school with 125 students, MTSU now has the largest undergraduate enrollment in the state. Something to celebrate. We'll be right back. At its heart, education surrounds us with everything we need to reach our dreams. It puts us in the middle of a host of opportunities. One university puts you in the middle of everything. Middle Tennessee State University, Tennessee's best. Dr. Sidney McPhee has guided the ship of MTSU for more than a decade of the university's 100 years. Taking office in August of 2001, he is in his 11th year as president. Dr. McPhee's years have focused on academic quality, student-centered learning, and innovative partnerships. Dr. McPhee joins us to talk about the centennial and his goals for MTSU going forward. You've, you've been at the helm of this university for a tenth of its 100 years, substantial part of it. Are there things that stand out in your mind as milestones? In the last 10 or 11 years, I, I think the growth in our academic program, building on that growth, the significance of the internationally and nationally known programs like our aerospace program and our recording industry, our nursing, uh, accounting, all of these programs are nationally known and really set the standard. We didn't have uh, any PhD programs 10 years ago. Now we have approaching 10 uh, in some very innovative areas, very much um, connected to economic development. Uh, the PhD in teaching uh, of math and sciences, the PhD in molecular biosciences, um, the PhD in literacy studies uh, that are attracting students not only from the state but um, from around the country and internationally. And then I think building on the reputation, the fact that we're now being recognized by uh, some outstanding prestigious ranking uh, organizations like the Forbes ranking in the U.S. News and World Report and the Princeton Review. Uh, they are adding affirmation uh, in the last 10 years on the quality, what they see of MTSU. Looking, looking back, what would you hope people would say about MTSU over the, the next 50 years in looking back, what do you hope that we will accomplish? You know, the, the response I hear from our alums about the progress that the university has made uh, 
um, over the years. Uh, and the pride in their voices when they talk to me about whether it's the uh, new academic programs or whether it's the, you know, the partnerships we've just signed the last couple of months, some very innovative partnerships with the Safe Skies operation in Knoxville and the unmanned aerial systems uh, with the drones, with the Army, uh, or with our international efforts, our partnership with China and other universities around the world. Alums see the value that has been added to their degree as the university has grown. And so I would hope that in the next 50 years uh, and beyond that that would be a con continue to be a uh, point of pride uh, that we continue to make those kinds of progress and that those progress are actually acknowledged um, with, um, with, with great excitement on the part of our alums. Desde Middle Tennessee State University, le damos la bienvenida a nuestra serie sobre las oportunidades para una educación superior en Tennessee. Hola, yo me llamo Brandon, soy estudiante y trabajo también. Tengo 22 años y he vivido aquí en Tennessee pues toda mi vida. Nunca pensé que pudiera aprender otro lenguaje, pero estuve equivocado. Empecé a estudiar español cuando estaba en la escuela secundaria y desde aquel entonces me ha encantado el lenguaje español y también la cultura latina. Sobre todo, los profesores fueron los que más me ayudaron. La decisión de ir a una universidad quizá es la mejor que he tomado. La educación me ayudó a alcanzar algo que nunca creí posible. Les aconsejo que se vayan a la universidad también, para que ustedes puedan alcanzar sus sueños igual. La educación te lleva a donde tú quieras. Financiado por Title I of the Carl D. Perkins Career and Technical Education Act of 2006. Whether it's the School of Music, the Center for Popular Music, or the highly respected Recording Industry Program, MTSU and music have long gone hand in hand. That marriage was recently showcased on Nashville's Music Row. The gray clouds have departed. MTSU graduate Eric Pasley performs a sound check before the biggest show of his upstart country career. Yeah, you're a little bit off. Do you know how to adjust your back for The river shine with life. Behind the scenes, MTSU students make last-minute adjustments before a hands-on production of Capitol Street Party 4 on Nashville's Music Row. You know, Eric doesn't go on until 7 and it gets dark at like 8, so I can't have him flipping in the middle of the show. <laughs> we see you in like five minutes. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I think it's one of a kind. Um, I think it makes perfect sense to do it because we're right down the road from Music Row and Capitol Records and uh, we have the resources to do something like it so why not uh, take advantage of the opportunity. Eric Pasley can feel a change coming, and it's not just love, but the sweet taste of success. A new album, a top written song, and now a street party showcase with Capitol Records. And I think MTSU just taught me, you know, whatever you're doing, do it at your best because uh, these are the people that are going to hire you. Come on, 
The sun is shining on his life and he has plenty of friends to enjoy the attention, including MTSU electronic media and recording industry students who help produce the show. MTSU sponsorship and involvement is an outgrowth of the university's drive to become more of a key partner on Music Row, placing MTSU's new $1.4 million mobile production lab front and center. So somebody came up with a bright idea, why don't we let them use the new truck? <laughs> and so instead of having to pony up like $25,000, they ponied up $5,000 on us. It's a great opportunity for the students because they all want to enter the professional world, either in the video world or the uh, recording world, the music world. And this opportunity gives them the chance to experience both. Thank you very much, Mayor Pastley. Take three, take three. Good job. This fall, MTSU Magazine published the 100 things we love about MTSU. Well, time doesn't allow us to reflect on all 100 but we thought we would showcase our top 10. Electronic media major graduate Nikki DeCroce takes a look. MTSU has it all, and we think our list of the top 10 certainly shows its diversity. One of the most exciting additions to MTSU's aerospace program is the new state-of-the-art air traffic control simulator. The $3.4 million simulator is the most sophisticated of its kind on a U.S. campus. The Confucius Institute at MTSU seeks to be a hub of China-related activities and resources, creating exciting opportunities for exchange and collaboration between communities in Tennessee and China. The new dairy farm at MTSU's Experiential Learning and Research Center provides hands-on opportunities for students to learn about animal production and prepare for the food processing industry. The dairy farm supplies milk to the campus of over 25,000 students. And boasting the largest audio production and music business program of any school in the nation, Middle Tennessee State University brings in students from all over to earn their degree in the Department of Recording Industry. One of our favorite old things about MTSU is the original campus buildings that have seen 100 years worth of students and graduates. These buildings include Kirksey Old Main, or KOM. The columns of the KOM are still an enduring landmark of the Middle Tennessee campus. From the brand new $1.4 million mobile television production lab to the student-run television and radio stations, MTSU offers an experience-based education for mass media students. You can also pick up a copy of Sidelines, MTSU's editorially independent newspaper, published by elite journalism students, or tune in to WMTS 88.3, MTSU's student radio station. MTSU also has one of the best and most exclusive recording industry programs in the world, including a concentration in commercial songwriting. The American Society of Composers, Writers, and Publishers, or ASCAP, partners veteran songwriting and publishing mentors with MTSU students to gain real-world experience. MTSU has one of the best programs for non-traditional students in the state of Tennessee. Officially, half of all MTSU students are considered adults or people that have responsibilities such as family and marriage. As the only adult learning focused institution in Tennessee, MTSU provides one of the top educations for non-traditional students. At number two on our top 10 things we love about MTSU, tailgating in Walnut Grove. From MTSU alumni to the new freshman class, tailgating at Walnut Grove is an important Blue Raider football tradition. And it may have been number 33 in the magazine, but it's number one on our list, Minutes from Music City. Nashville is just a half hour from the MTSU campus, offering exciting getaways to tourist attractions, sporting events, and country music. What's not to like? It's the best of two worlds. A college campus with academic excellence, just minutes away from one of America's most vibrant cities. Mike? For the full list of the 100 things we love about MTSU, go to mtsumagazine.com. It's not every day we get to celebrate our 100th birthday, so we thought we would leave you with a few birthday wishes from faculty and students. Please join us next month for Out of the Blue. You are 100 years old this year. I say keep going strong and let's have another 100 on our way. Happy 100th birthday, MTSU. It's been a great 100 years. I know we'll have several more to come. 
happy 100 years and I look forward to many more great years at MTSU. Turning 100 this year, congratulations. Even though they have shut down the space program, MTSU is steady climbing and you're on your way to the top. Happy birthday. I would just like to say happy birthday, Middle Tennessee State. Happy birthday, MTSU. Woo! MTSU. Happy birthday, MTSU. Hope I look as good as you when I'm 100. Join us in celebrating 100 years of MTSU history. Check out the Centennial Timeline at mtsu.edu slash centennial.